everyone. I'm Wendy. I'm a speech language pathologist at ICEC. Um, and I'm here just to give you guys a few tips that you can use while reading a book to your child. Um, we have a big range of kids that we see at ICEC um, between a year and four to five years old. So I'll kind of go over <laughs> the differences um, that you can do with each one of those um, age groups. Um, so a lot of times in our group program, we use books a lot, uh, but we also use a lot of props that go along with it. So um, you might have them match an object to a picture. We may have um, animals or uh, different types of toys and have them um, act out those actions to it. And those are such great tools um, that we have the ability to use in our group program. Um, but when we're at home, um, you know, especially us moms, we uh, don't always have time to go grab those things for um, a really good uh, time to read a story to your child. Uh, we just don't have time, um, especially now, you know, we're busy homeschooling. We, we have some younger kids, some older kids that we have to, uh, you know, kind of watch. So um, just having a simple book is still such a great tool to use. Uh, for your child to increase their language development. Um, so um, just a few things that you can do at home, um, you know, especially if they're not quite, uh, their attention isn't quite there yet. So, um, you know, if they have the attention of maybe one to two minutes, then we can kind of uh, try to increase that to maybe three to four minutes. So, um, you know, we pick books that are very engaging, um, of books that they've repeated a lot of times. Um, so uh, we want to find books that um, have lots of color, have lots of familiar objects, familiar animals. Um, we want to let them explore the book a little bit on their own. So, um, you know, even if they're not completely looking at every single object on the page, we want to let them kind of um, flip through the book a little bit. Um, and just kind of engage with it a little bit independently before we have them sit in our lap or even sit in a table if they're ready to read the book. Um, so um, a lot of times parents kind of get a little focused on reading the text in the book. Um, but at this stage, especially our younger ones that don't quite have uh, the attention or um, quite of the vocabulary, uh, right now at this stage, books are meant more to talk about the pictures in a, rather than reading the text. Um, kids seem to be more engaged when we're um, shortening our sentences and describing the pictures and the object rather than reading all the words in the book. Um, so during that time, we can be pointing at all the different objects in the book. So we can point at different nouns, familiar animals, familiar toys, different uh, vehicles. Uh, we can be talking about the actions. So, um, you know, uh, mouse runs, dog barks. Um, so we're shortening our sentences and we're just identifying those uh, nouns and, and actions. Um, so we can point to those objects and ask them to point to it too. Um, so rather than um, saying, where's the dog or where's the cat, we can make a statement like, find the cat, let's find the dog. Um, we want to make comments rather than asking them questions um, in case they don't have um, the understanding quite yet or that expressive vocabulary um, to find it, you know, if, if we ask them, um, what's this or what's that. So we're going to model it for them. Um, you can also kind of leave, uh, do like a fill in the blank them. So you can say, oh, point to the dog and say, I see a, and leave it open for them to fill it in rather than asking them, what's this or what's that? Um, you know, we can talk about different attributes. Um, so if you know you want to identify a big butterfly, like what we have in our, um, our story, our YouTube story, I love bugs. Um, so you know, you would say, oh, I see a big butterfly. Or if you want to uh, point to a smaller one, oh, I see a tiny butterfly or a tiny bat. 
so you can use your voice a lot um, to um, exaggerate those attributes and um, help them understand those those words a little more. Um, for our older kids that we see ICEC too, um, you know, if they have the vocabulary and the, um, the expressive and receptive language to be able to answer questions, then of course it's, it's totally appropriate to ask them questions um, as, long as, as long as they have that vocabulary. Um, so when you're looking at a story, you can ask them, um, you know, why, why do you think the boy went to his room? Um, and you can kind of help them answer those type of questions. Um, if they um, if they still don't have the answer, then we can again do the fill in the blank for them, um, or we can ask them more complex questions like, "Let's find all the blue cats," or "Let's find all the spotted dogs." So having them, um, you know, focus on those more advanced um, attributes of, a, of an animal. Um, so in our video that we have for this week, um, it's I Love Bugs. Um, this book kind of goes through a little fast. Um, I don't have the book. I don't expect you guys to have the book. So that's why we have this uh, YouTube option. Um, but you can always by Philemon Sturgis, huh, pause it by Sherry Halpern. and just talk about the different objects here. So here, oops, oh. Have fun and learn math at the <laughs> same time with Adapted Mind, a fun learning game. Oh, oh, oh. Have Writing's not that easy, but Grammarly can Sorry. help. <laughs> this sentence is grammatically correct. So, but here. There are no words on this. Page, but we can talk about the boy. There's a boy. He has a big brown hat on. And he has a yellow backpack. I wonder what's inside. Let's find out. But and this book is really simple. It has very short phrases. So it would be appropriate to read this, this story to them. Um, but uh, you know, you can just just talk about the op the um, objects here too. So we can talk about the cat. We can talk about how the cat is on the window. Oh, I see a tiny ladybug. Um, so we can use our voice again to to emphasize those attributes. Bugs, bugs. I like bugs. Bugs that. And then here, you know, we can talk, we can ask them, let's find the flower. I see two flowers. One. And then anticipate, uh, wait for them, um, and then see if they can point to the other one. If not, then of course we can model to them to point to them. Um, Creep bugs that crawl. Here we have a great picture. There's um, lots of objects in this uh, picture. There's some actions going on. Um, so we can, of course, label those. Um, if our kids are older, they have the vocabulary, we can ask them, where's the boy? Or what is the cat doing? Um, if not, we can just label. The cat is running. It's going to run off. Run, cat. Uh, so again, using really simple phrases for that. I hope that was helpful for you guys. Um, if you have any questions, just comment. And um, we hope to see you guys really soon. We miss you guys. Take care.